Welcome back. Um, what you're seeing right now is I've thrown in a couple of construction line pieces just to get us started with our next little piece of discussion. Now, what I've gone and done is I've actually changed the layer on my counter as I had it. I put it in the refrigerator roughly where I want it to be. And I've marked in, like I said, the sink and the bathroom or the powder room. And I've got some decisions to make now. Now, first off, I want an island in this area here. Now, if I have a dishwasher here and I open the door, it's going to come out to about right here. There's no way to get past that. So I don't want my counter to come all the way to it. So what I've done is I figured out where three feet is because that's her normal clearance on things. So I made a circle that's three foot in diameter, actually three foot in radius. So if I just do a DI distance from, say, the center here out here to the quadrant, that's three feet all the way around that. So as I'm looking at this, I've got three feet from there to there, from this corner out to here, from this corner out to here. Um, where things are going to collide, if I want to do a line right here and I just want to take it off the quadrant of, say, this circle and bring it out this way, it'll go right through the quadrant of the next one. Um, we'll change that actually into a construction layer for a few minutes just so we can make some references. So as I'm looking at this, I know I want a little more clearance here, but I do want a large island. Now, if I do a distance from, say, the midpoint right here, perpendicular to that. That's a six foot wide island right now. If I just fill the space, you can't reach across that. I'm, it's just, just too large. So let's do a little bit here. I'm going to move this line right here. First off straight down into our, away from our default, say nine inches. So that'll give us a little bit there. So that'll take us to about five foot three. Now I'm going to move this other side right here this way about three inches. So that took a foot off of our six. We're at about five foot. Now I'm also going to move from our fridge out away from our fridge. And in this case, three feet is enough. I'm just going to go about nine inches just for safety's sake. And then I do want it to line up with the end right there. I do think it needs to line up with this quadrant right here. So it needs to come down like so. So I've now created roughly where my island I think would be a good fit for it. Do I have enough room for it? We'll find out as we work on our design here in just a moment. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to mark in that island. I'm actually going to change these pieces of the island to be cabinet layer, countertops. And look at this. Now, if I want a cooktop in here, let's just actually go grab our cooktop. So if I change to my appliance layer, and I'm just going to use uh, the default range because it's about the same size as the normal cooktop. Now that's about, it's not actually, you know, correct. But we're just getting a rough idea here. Drop him in. Okay. So he's about the right size. Do I have enough room to function with this? So if I do a quick little explode of, say, this feature right here, and then go trim, get rid of this stuff on the back side, maybe get rid of all this right here on the front. Um, let's just get rid of that line right there completely and go move. From there to the midpoint right there. Um, I'm going to notch him back, move previous stuff back this way, say an inch and a half. So if I put that there, let's do a distance. I've got plenty of room to work on this side of this. I've got almost three feet on either side of this. Okay. So for a cooktop, that's plenty of room to work. That'll, that'll be fine with us. I can put in either a hood over top or I can put a downdraft in the counter. And I could actually make it so this was a serving bar or a breakfast bar here. And there is enough room to pass through. Because right here from here to there, I've got three, just over three feet, three foot, three inches. Um, that might even be best if I shrink it up a little bit. So I'm probably going to bring that in about another nine inches. So it's a foot, it's a four foot difference here. Fill it from there to there and from there to there. So that'll give me a rough start. Um, I'm going to keep tweaking this as I go, but for right now, that's probably going to get me what I want to see. Um, but that's really all I've done with that. I'll put in the counters just exactly like they are. Uh, do some elevation and my interior elevation work later. Uh, upper cabinets, pretty much the same kind of thing. They're 12 inches deep. So I would actually go and do a line, say from right here back this way, 12 inches and bring it over here to the wall. Now, this, because it's an upper cabinet, needs to be put on an upper cabinet layer. I believe I have that pre-made. Uh, shelves right there. 
one wall's upper cabinet is right there. Now, my upper cabinet is a phantom line, and I am going to move this end piece of it in about four inches, and then refill it this corner, just because, yes, you do have to have some casing room and stuff. Uh, there's an upper cabinet there. I've got lots of room in the pantry, so I don't have to worry about a lot of upper cabinets. I'll put the hood in. I might put a cabinet up above this. I'm still debating on whether or not to put a wall there. I know I'm going to put a swing in door on this pantry that swings to this wall. But for the most part, I think I've got my spacing laid out. I've just got to do some tweaking and some kitchen planning. Um, I think it'll work. I just need to do some thinking and some discussion with who would be the client, myself, and figure out how this is going to work. Thanks for your time. Bye.